Okay, so good afternoon. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, so then I would like to express my uh, gratitude for accepting our proposal to online meeting. That's my pleasure, my pleasure. Okay, so, so the topic of our discussion is about COVID situation in Mongolia and especially I would like to pay your attention to the high risk group of people, especially state workers, civil servants who are working on the front line of the quarantine situation. Okay, so then at the parliament level also, we uh, has been established uh, the working group which is included all chairpersons of the Standing Committee of Parliament of Mongolia. Okay, so then today I would like to pay your attention and consult a few on the situation of the state workers who are working on the front line and risking their own lives. As a chairman of the Parliamentary Standing Committee of the State Structure, it is my duty to take all the responsible action to assist and support public and the state workers. The within jurisdiction of the Standing Committee and we work closely with the Civil Servants Council of Mongolia, and I'm talking about the medical workers and police officers, workers of the National Emergency Commission, a state inspection agency. Okay, according to rough estimation, there are about 10,000 these people are active on duty during the quarantine period, and same number of workers also outside of Ulaanbaatar in 21 provinces, totally around 20,000 state workers. Okay, so before I would like to have a discussion with you on the possibility to get the vaccine only for these 20,000 high risk, our essential workers, as soon as the vaccine will be, will be available. Okay, so then uh, these 20,000 doses is not very high compared to first recipient countries, and that are more likely to receive from the production lines that in counted in millions. On this topic, I would like to hear your opinions and exchange your views to make it happen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, well thank you. Thank you very much uh, for that and thanks for the opportunity to have a chat about these issues. And uh, I mean, from the outset, just to say you know, how well I think Mongolia is managing this current situation. Mm -hmm. um, and it was already managing the situation well beforehand, before we had the community cases, but it's very clear that the government is doing everything it can to slow down the community transmission, which is which is very positive to see. Mm -hmm. um, now on, on the on the vaccine issue, um, obviously I've, I've been in discussion with uh, the, primarily the foreign ministry about this and the, the first thing to say is that you probably know that Mongolia has signed up to the so-called COVAX yes. facility, yes. this multilateral facility um, focused particularly on, on developing countries um, to enable them to, to have the vaccine as early as possible. Yes, we are under, we are under the list, number four. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mongolia is on, on that list. And uh, the, um, as, as I understand, this, this will provide for around about 20% of the population, primarily focused on the those who are the most vulnerable, which obviously would include the health workers and others, the emergency workers who you mentioned. Mm -hmm. So I think through the COVAX facility, there would be a very strong opportunity of being able to provide the vaccine for those 20,000, uh, as you mentioned, um, as soon as it becomes becomes available through COVAX. And just to note that the, the UK is actually the largest um, donor to COVAX. We, we've contributed already over 500 million pounds to the uh, the COVAX facility. So that's very much something that we're very pleased about. Mm -hmm. And then, as I say, secondly, I'm talking to London about potential connections for Mongolia with the companies. Um, so that's kind of where, where we stand at the moment on, on the vaccine issue. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, thank you very much, uh, Ambassador, and then I'm very much appreciated uh, for your this discussion, and then I hope and uh, we will continue to work on this subject because uh, yes. uh, I hope and then you understood uh, my concern because my concern is uh, how we can protect and how we can provide the vaccine that, uh, uh, that uh, f firstly to the state workers who are working on this uh, uh, in emergency zones. Okay, so then yeah. very much appreciated and then please also they pay your attention on this point and uh, then and then let's uh, uh, let's keep in touch and any any uh, good response and then any quick response and then please let us know I'll, I'll do that I'll, I'll let you know what as soon as I hear back particularly on the direct connections with the companies as well and also progress on the COVAX um, arrangement mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Ambassador. No, thank you. Okay, it's good, good to night. see you. Okay, good to see you. Bye. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye